The President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. The fact is on the functioning of S21 and Chung Ek. Before we proceed uh, the session, we would like to inform to the parties that uh, we have been 10 minutes late uh, to start our session this morning because we have had uh, some technical glitches concerning the AV unit. That's why we have been 10 minutes late. The greffier, please verify the attendance of the parties to the proceedings today. The greffier, Mr. President, the parties to the proceedings today are all present. Le président. The personnel, the security personnel, please bring the accused prie, to the dock. Les de la sécurité amener l'accusé à la barre. Le président. The President, before we start the proceedings Avant concerning the fact uh, on the uh, functioning of S21, including Chung Ek, the trial chamber would like to take this opportunity to pronounce the Decision on request for release by the defense counsel. And number two, we will inform the result of the trial management meeting conducted on the 11th of June 2009. Mise en état menée la semaine dernière. The trial chamber would like to pronounce the dispositive of the decision on the request for release. The decision is already included in the case file, and the public and the parties do the proceeding will obtain the written decision in due course and the decision can be found on the ECCC's website. However, in the interest of justice, the chamber would like to pronounce the dispositive of the decision as follows. The trial chamber denies the request for release, orders that the accused shall remain in provisional detention for the duration of the trial, finds that 
the detention of the accused by the military court was an error of application of procedural law, a violation of his rights, and that, therefore, the detention was unlawful. Declares that the accused and the international law and the law of the Kingdom of Cambodia is entitled to a remedy for the time spent in detention under the authority of the military court and the violation of his rights. Notes that the accused, in the event of acquittal, may seek appropriate remedies for time spent in detention at the military court and for the violation of his rights before the National Courts of Cambodia. Declares that in the event of conviction before the ECCC and applying Article 503 of the Cambodian Code of the Criminal Procedure, the accused is entitled to credit for the time served in detention under the authority of the ECCC, namely since the 31st of July 2007. Declares that in the event of conviction before the ECCC, the accused is entitled to the remedy of credit for the time spent in detention under the authority of the military court, namely from the 10th of May 1999 to the 30th of July 2007. Reserves the question of the nature and extent of the additional remedy and the consequence of the violation of his rights to the Chamber's determination of sentence if applicable. Phnom Penh, the 15th of June 2009. President of the Trial Chamber, President Signature and Seal, no, none. Next, the Trial Chamber would like to pronounce the result of the trial management meeting conducted on the 11th of June 2009 in which uh, the trial chamber would wish to uh, share with the parties and the public. So I would like to give the floor to Judge uh, Sylvia Cartwright to proceed uh, with the pronouncement of the results of the trial management meeting to the parties, to the proceedings and the public. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. As the President has said, there was a trial management meeting on the 11th of June 2009, and the Chamber wishes to inform the public and the parties to the proceedings of the following. There may be further information given at a later stage. First, the Chamber has noted that all parties are concerned about the time that will be needed to complete the presentation of evidence in the trial. The Chamber has noted that there are wide variations in parties' estimates of the time needed to complete the evidence. <coughs> These range from August to December of 2009. The Chamber is therefore reviewing its current tentative schedule to address these concerns so that the hearing can be completed as soon as possible 
while maintaining the fairness of the proceedings. The Chamber cannot yet announce an end date for the pr presentation of evidence, but it wishes to announce that it will adopt the practice of assigning speaking times to the parties. So far in the trial, <coughs> the Chamber has permitted the parties to give their own estimates of time, but this has not been altogether successful. The Chamber will assess the time it thinks appropriate for the hearing of each witness on a case-by-case basis. But it wishes now to give an indication of the time it considers generally appropriate for the questioning of witnesses and for the presentation of submissions so that the parties can prepare. De manière à ce que First, les parties the questioning puissent of witnesses. Generally, this will be 30 minutes témoins. for the prosecutors, les <coughs> auront, en règle générale, 30 40 minutes, minutes for all civil parties combined, pour des and 40 minutes for the defense. Et 40 minutes pour la defense. Secondly, Deuxièmement. submissions. Conclusion. The Chamber will permit between la five and ten minutes une durée for the raising of questions and objections, questions and objections and five minutes for responses. Pour des the trial chamber will not permit lengthy dispute by the parties to these time estimates. Entre les parties dans le the temps, distribution of the 40 minutes speaking time la la among the civil parties' lawyers de 40 minutes is for them to decide. However, the Chamber suggests as a possible method that the four civil party groups assign one Cambodian and one international lawyer with the responsibility for the questioning of each witness on behalf of all civil parties. The Chamber emphasizes, however, that this is a suggestion only for the uh, efficient use of the 40 minutes time allocation. The Chamber wishes to modify its sitting days to allow an additional day each month when the trial will not be proceeding. At this point, the Chamber wishes to explain to the public and emphasize that a large proportion of its work is done outside of the courtroom. This involves preparation for the trial, deliberations, drafting and translation of decision, discussion of trial management issues, and other matters. These cannot be satisfactorily attended to in the time left before, temps, during, and after hearings. Et ainsi les Finally, le the Chamber notes uh, that civil party est, lawyers um, have raised réduit. concerns about poor working ailleurs, conditions, les ont lack of financial support, de, and the availability of some from August 2009 onwards. 
Uh, des parties, à a representative du of the Office of Administration was present at the trial management meeting and took note of the first two concerns, which are obviously outside the jurisdiction of the Chamber. Pas de la so far de la as the third concern, that of availability of civil party lawyers from August onwards is concerned, the Chamber will liaise with the Victims Unit to ensure that any possible unavailability of lawyers does not jeopardise the smooth continuity of the proceedings. La continuité et le bon déroulement Thank you, Mr. Des, President. De la procédure. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, Le President, I notice the presence of lawyer for civil party group one. Go ahead. Du, uh, Your Honor, um, are you going to announce now or later about the um, change of um, seating hours of the day? Are you going to, to announce soon exactly what that means in the weeks ahead, or, or when are we going to know exactly for the, for the schedule? We will be grateful. Yes, thank you, Mr. Werner. The trial chamber still has some calculations to make, and uh, these affect the schedule which will be produced and distributed as soon as possible, hopefully towards the end of this week. President. Next. We will now proceed with a discussion on the operation of S21. Including the operation at Chung We emphasize on S21 that currently it is called the tools line prison. And for the other facts, namely, the re-education camp at Preso will be dealt next. Nous nous traiterons ensuite du centre de rééducation de Preso. Mr. Kangakil, Monsieur Kangakil, can you describe to the chamber the composition of people who were arrested and sent to S21? What types of people were they? De quel type? de personnes s'agissait-il The accused Mr. President Monsieur le Président The people who entered S21 personnes qui could be divided into major phases pouvaient être the first phase when I was a deputy and the second phase when I became the chairman. During the time that I was the deputy chairman, the people who entered S21 were mostly the former officers the former Technicians who used to work at the Democratic Cambodia regime. This is according to the list, to the surviving list at S21. That is from March 1970 
1976, when I became the chairman, Mars 76, lorsque je suis devenu the former directeur. officers came in less frequency from the countryside, mm. whom were mm. arrested and sent. Mm. So, majority of those for the second place were the people inside the ranks of the Revolution Party of Kampuchi. This is my summary. Pour ce qui était du régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Donc voilà, en synthèse, ma réponse. The president. Le président. Amongst those people. Parmi ces personnes. What was your observations regard? Regarding male, female, and children proportion. Repartition, homme, femme, enfant, en termes de proportion. Can you tell us the proportions and the age of those people who were sent to S21? Entre ces trois groupes, ainsi que l'âge des personnes qui étaient envoyées à S21. Who was sent to S21 for S21 to torture and interrogate? They were in various. Proportions in terms of age, they were young children, older children, teenagers, male and female, and senior people. This is my summary to you, Mr. President. Personnes plus âgées. Voilà, en résumé, mon président, Monsieur le Président, ma réponse. The President. Le Président. According to your observation, what type of people was in the majority who were sent, who were arrested and sent to S21? Were they the former officers, or were they the cadres of the Democratic Kampuchi, or were they soldiers, or they were various types of other groups? De personnes appartenant à d'autres groupes. The accused, uh, Mr. President. L'accusé, je remercie, Monsieur le Président. In total, Au total, the people who entered S21, as I observed, I can say that the majority, the majority of them were the combatants and cadres inside the revolutionary ranks of the Democratic of Kampuchea and the Communist Party of Kampuchea. President, thank you. Did you also observe that amongst the individuals who were arrested and sent to S21, did they also include the staff of S21 or at the re-education camp at Preso as designated as S24 by NAT? The accused, Mr. President. The staff at Preso were the staff of S21 as well. They have the same right and authority as the staff in Phnom Penh. So this is uh, one side. And regarding the numbers, I would estimate there were more than 100. And for the people who were to be re-educated, I would not regard them as the full staff of S21, and they were also brought to Phnom Penh to be tortured for confessions, and sometimes they were sent from Preso to Chiang Ai, but I would not know the exact number, but there were, yes, some of them. Thank you. The President. Did you also observe that amongst those people who were sent by the party to S21, including the ethnic minority living on the territory of the Democratic Kampuchea, the accused, Mr. President, it is my, in my opinion that the ethnic minority should be divided from the immigrants the immigrants, I 
refer to the Chinese and the Vietnamese. As for the ethnic minority, I will refer to the Cham or Muslim and other minorities, including Jarai and Pno. These people, ces personnes, according to the surviving list that I observed, there were some of them. The ethnic minority, the Muslim, were mentioned in the list before I became the chairman. They were Cham, they were Arab, and some Pakistani. The total number were roughly 40. This is my from my vague recollection. And for the concrete number, we should check against the S21 document. For other ethnic minorities, I have already reported to the chamber. They were full role. There were five of them, and when Popo regarded them as friends, I was ordered to release three of them immediately, and I could not grasp the rest. And for the rest of the ethnic minority, I could not uh, grasp the number, because some of them were most trusted by the Onka. And for the Chinese or Vietnamese immigrants, they were not arrested because they were immigrants, but because they committed an offense considered by the Democratic of Cambodia. Quelque chose considéré comme un délit par le Cambodia démocratique. The president. According to your observation, have you noticed that among the people who were sent to S21, uh, identified now as dual slang, as commonly known. Were there any foreigners? And if there were, who, uh, where, where were they from? The accused. The people who were sent to S21 included uh, the, ma the majority of foreigners were the Vietnamese. And uh, as uh, you, we have already seen the list uh, presented by Judge uh, Sylvia Cartwright, that uh, this number uh, goes up to 345 Vietnamese. And uh, we have uh, a few ethnic uh, Chinese people who are immigrants, who were immigrants in Cambodia. And we have uh, we we had four foreigners from from Western country. I only saw the face of one British man, but I did not see the other three. Although I noticed that there were four of them. The president, thank you. The overall numbers of the victims in the introductory no, in the indictment uh, it stated that there were 12,380 people who were sent to S21 since the beginning of uh, the security office until the 6th of January 1979. Is it the, uh, this is the Information we obtain from the indictment, do you accept that uh, at least uh, this number of people were sent to S21? The accused. Thank you, Mr. President. Since I have seen the list, I have never changed uh, my statement, and I acknowledge all the names appeared in the list. I never changed it. And I would like to also emphasize that there are six new lists that I have just obtained recently that we also call them as the released 
least. Actually, they are not the least for people to be released, but the least naming people to be smashed. Whether I am, it is the right time for me to mention about the six new list that the people call them the list for the release, or maybe at a later date. Mr. President, thank you. The trial chamber would like to know also about the new six lists uh, and what what are they about uh, concerning the people who were sent to S21 so to be clear uh, please uh, tell the court whether they are the list for the people to be released or to be smashed. The Mr. President, the list, the new six lists are about the list of people to be smashed. Including these six new lists, I have already calculated there are, uh, there are 161 people. The first list is day 159 slash 4.10. This list appeared and came across to me on the 26th of November 1977. When I saw the list, Immediately, I, as the chairman, as receive, having received order, I grab a, a pen and then annotated on the right uh, of the list to extract. I used the word. This word and emphasized uh, the word smash or uh, executed, and also. At the uh, end of the list, Hall wrote that the these Hall people were taken away or removed. And then the, the date was the 2nd of December 1977. So in conclusion, these people were combatants and the cadre of the regiment of division uh, 920 and was sent to uh, S21 in 1977. So these people were actually were ordered to smash by the superior. So uh, we would like I would like the president to also regard this list as the core list of the S21 and have it included as the um, common list. The second list, à savoir liste des personnes écrasées S21. List D57. Pour la deuxième liste. If you look at the appearance of the list, it is the list of Division 703, uh, in which uh, the Regiment 44 prepared uh, in the cheating slogan that uh, ordered by NAT that they were released, but actually it, they were not, because there were 49 people, including the combatants and ordinary people. And, and these lists were signed by Comrade Hun, uh, the uh, secretary of the battalion of the Division 703 and signed on the 20th of December 1975. The reason I claim that this list uh, are the list for people to be smashed because this list did not stay at Division 703. The committee I don't know how the committee was called. Uh, Un comité, the, dont je ne sais that plus committee nom. for the Genocide of Museum of Tools Lang, the uh, they saw uh, this list at uh, S21 with uh, the génocide. label as TSL. Although they belong to 703, 
division, but uh, the list uh, were found at S21, and we can consider the list. Number two, the signature on the 20th of December 1975, which was about the release. To me, I think it was not true because no one could release anyone. Uh, otherwise, we would uh, uh, be compromised uh, because the union of the laborers and uh, even the cooperative were classified in groups and organized in groups and teams. The division also were organized into units, and how could we bring these 49 people without uh, letting the upper echelon know it? Uh, so the superior uh, were of the opinion that when any subordinate uh, compromised any information uh, concerning these uh, people, then they would uh, be in big trouble. And number three, the reason number three, the victims in uh, order number 18 and 36 were the victims who involved in the matter that I am quite familiar with. And Son Sen also uh, discussed about this with me. And I recollect uh, Mr. Mon, who also told de, me about this, and when Nad reported to the superior concerning the arrest without asking any permission or idea from the upper echelon of the superior, I can conclude that this list is a fake released list decided by Nad subjectively uh, to arrest these uh, 49 people. And when he was frustrated, he tried to uh, create such a list to cover his story. So I think these 49 people were the 49 people who were to be re released by uh, NAD, but I think so far there has not been any civil party who claimed anything and then uh, uh, not, no one among the 49 people uh, in the list has personnes. been uh, claimed as their relatives or, or loved ones. Personne so I think uh, this is about the list uh, D57. De, uh, I would like to personnes. now mention about other four main lists altogether. The first is grande liste, la première. D, excuse me, E2. Slash 2.8. Uh, this list 8. is the record of confessions. Une liste Brother Mon Nai, according to Nat's order, uh, requested to the Anka to release them and without any particular date. And Comrade Ho stated release on the 8th of March uh, 1976. I think it was also a fake uh, release. It was just uh, manipulated by Nat. And this is another list. Uh, for the other list, there are, there are three lists in the book of Brothers Mom Nai, the notebook of Brothers Mom Nai. And I would like to also emphasize that uh, the book Et je dois souligner ici, uh, has ERN 0, je donne le numéro ERN 0, de mon on page ERN 0, 0, Excuse me, 077976. There was one person not requested Mom Nai to release, uh, mom nai but uh, mom in, nai on page 077978, there were four people that not requested to Mom Nai to release them on the 24th of December. Sorry, 25th of December, not uh, did uh, write down that uh, the people were released. 
comme mention dans son carnet que ces personnes ont été libérées. On page ERN 0007979, there were other four 17, people. 979, on trouve encore quatre autres noms. That uh, brother Mom Nai, uh, according to the order of uh, Mom Nai, sur uh, Nat, uh, 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 brother, uh, sorry, Nat asked Mom Nai to release them too. And uh, I think uh, the record in brother's Mom Nai was not really a real record of the release. It is just a fake one. And in the civil des, complaint des, of des civil fausses, party, pas hmm. uh, E2 slash 56, there is a complaint of the person. Sur la cote E256, on trouve une plainte de parti civil. And his uh, complaint is obvious, but uh, when you look at E2 slash 56.2, it is e only the record of the interrogation by brother Mom Nai, who asked the Anka to uh, kindly release that individual. Cette and he signed with the name of M21. Actually, M21 is the secretariat of en fait, M21, Nat. Le secrétaire de Nat. So Nat actually signed and agreed to release. So in conclusion, all together with all uh, the complaints of uh, civil parties E2 slash 56.1 and E2 slash 56.2 reveal that these four lists of release are the fake list of release, including the other two lists also, which are not true. And Comrade Ho wrote in the list named D159-4.10 as the release list. So I would like Or to confirm that the word release is not true. So these terms did not exist at S21. Altogether, these 169 people should also be deemed included in the list of the S21 list as the people who have been smashed. The president, thank you. Question. In the process of arresting people to be detained at S21, in general, Au cours des arrestations, what des would be the price? Se passe -il? The accused, Réponse. Mr. President. Now I'm talking about the arrest, the rise to arrest was vested with the people who had the right to smash. So if the people made such a decision, then the subordinates had to arrest them and also arrest them in order not to allow them to uh, fight back and also to keep the arrest Les secret and then send them to S21. So this is a principle in our implementation of such arrest. Ça, the, le principe, uh, the majority of people who were arrested would be sent to S21 and S21 had to be ready to receive them. And another practice is that, uh, for example, when Koi Tun was arrested, Koi Tun a été arrêté, Pang Chum Som Aok Pang sent uh, uh, him Chum -Som to Ang be arrested by S21. So this is uh, an activity to arrest people not to uh, be able to escape or to know in advance of uh, his uh, expected arrest. Then I already 
stated uh, how I uh, interacted with Koitun. And also the other practice is that the standing committee made uh, the decision to arrest. And then, for example, Wong Wei were asked to inform me uh, to arrest Pang. So, so to avoid being compromised, uh, Pang actually uh, used to come to S21. He saw me, saw her, and normally he saw me. So then, me voir, when général. he saw me and comrade Ho, he was not surprised. Donc, and venu, then I pointed Ho, to surpris, him, and then Pang was uh, fr uh, shouting, and then uh, Ho put him on handcuff. Pang so the key people who were arrested were decided by the standing committee, and S21 had to arrest them. Arrêter, but uh, qui la in décision, the document, uh, the décision. negotiation on the 16th of September, Il y a un du 16 septembre. sorry, I don't remember the date exactly, the negotiation accusé, between Comrade Sok and entre Sok. I and Comrade that concerning that the, uh, the arrest of uh, 40 people from Division uh, 170 and 290. And of course, uh, they, are, they involved uh, people from S21 to go out and arrest them. So in conclusion, all the arrests made by the standing Donc, committee, decided by the, com uh, the standing committee. committee. Number two, if the standing committee already made such decision, anyone who failed to respect such qui, uh, order would be in big trouble. Uh, so and the arrest must be made in secret, se and that people who would be arrested must not be informed, or uh, otherwise the people who were in charge of arresting those people would be accountable for their act. Car euh, autrement, ceux qui devaient l'arrêter auraient dû rendre compte devant les autorités supérieures. Talking about Question. the cadres and staff at S21. On arrive aux cadres et au personnel de S21. Did they go outside the S21 to make the arrest besides que le de S21 the arrest that you made regarding the division 170 and 290? So this is a separate question. And probably I will ask you further on the arrest of the division 170 and 290. And besides these two divisions where the meeting was held on the 16th in 1976, as you have just said, Est -ce que la réunion du 16 dont vous venez de, were venez de there any cadres or forces of the S21 go to conduct the operations to make arrests of other people outside? And if so, in what cases and what is the practice? What was the practice? Si oui, à quelle occasion the et accused, uh, Mr. President, uh, cela se I would Réponse. like to talk just uh, from the March 1976, when I became the chairman of S21, the sending of people uh, outside were in two ways. One is on National Road 5 to post Sat and Battenborg, and National Road 1 to Preben and Swiring, or the closest is Niek Leung. The sending Les transferts of cadres of the special force of S21 to go outside. Des cadres plutôt des forces spéciales de S21 aller à l'extérieur. To which Parfois, direction? I could not uh, recall the exact numbers exactement. because I did not pay much Combien attention on this issue at the time. Mr. President, could you listen carefully to the question? Le président, the question, question is, la question que were there any cases besides the discussion that you participated with the Division 170 and 290 with the participation from the leadership, including Son Sen and Brother 81? And the discussion was for the arrest, the mass arrest, des up to 40 people from these two divisions. So that was a one special cas, case. But what I want to ask is, were there any other cases where S21 forces 
Once to make the operations to arrest, for example, at the various ministries and offices in Phnom Penh, it's different between the arrest operation and the transportation of those who were already arrested. So these are two separate uh, questions. The accused. Thank you, Mr. President. In Phnom Penh, from what I can recall, I would not uh, object to any surviving documents. I would accept it if it's mentioned in S21 document. Et but from what I can recall, I did not allow any special forces or combatants from S21 to conduct the arrest because it's going to reveal the secrecy of the S21. But uh, for going outside of Phnom Penh to make the arrest, that uh, is a separate matter. Par contre, à l'extérieur de Phnom Penh, oui, ça c'est autre chose. President, you just Question. said about the arrest of two persons, that is Koi Thun and Chum Sam Ao, alias Pong. Pong. But uh, the question is, in the arrest of an individual with an important role inside the party Je and the government from various ministries and other zones throughout the country, how was the process done besides Koi Thun and Pong, where the upper echelon decided to send them to meet you at your office and then you in cooperation with Ho? to conduct an arrest of these two people. But I talk about others like Kong Chap and Bon Wade. What was the operation like or conducted? The accused, thank you, Mr. President. The arrest of Koi Thun, there were many of people involved, but for the arrest of Bong, there were only two of us, Bong, Ho and myself. But for Bong Chap, I was not known when he was arrested, he was sent. But for Bong Wei and Chap, they were arrested in the ministry and they were sent to us in the afternoon. The president, so in general, the form of arrest to be sent to S21, it was the original unit who would make the arrest and sent to S21, and the S21 duty was to receive them, is that correct? Ne faisait que réceptionner ces prisonniers. The accused. Réponse. Yes, uh, Mr. President, this oui, is Monsieur from my recollection. Effectivement, c'est Bien, ce dont je me souviens. President, what Question. about the arrest of the S21 staff and at the re-education camp at Preso? Who made such decisions? This arrest, I mean, is the arrest of those to be sent to S21 for the purpose of being tortured, interrogated, and smashed. The accused. First, I would like to inform Réponse. Mr. President on the decision making. Je d'abord vous décrire le processus de décision. The person who made the decision was the standing committee before le April 27th. Sunset made decision, and later on, Uncle Noon would make a decision, and nobody dared to make any move to without the Uncle Noon's consent. And nobody dared to make any move without the Uncle Noon's consent. And nobody dared to make any move without the Uncle Noon's consent. And nobody dared to make any move without the Uncle Noon's consent. And nobody dared to make any and I would like to report on the actions before leading to the decision making. There were many incidents, and Comrade Ho reported to me constantly. And at one point, when Ho said we should report it to the upper echelon, and in the case that I approved, then I would report it to the upper echelon, requesting the upper echelon's decision. And with their decision, 
Then I ask Camarato to Ensuite, sur la base de cette implement. décision, je disais à so for or, the ce qu'il fallait faire. And the techniques, then the process involved the arrest it was under the responsibility of Camarato and his subordinates. I myself was responsible for not allowing them to protest or to evade. So this is uh, what happened. And this is my report to you, Mr. President. No. The President. Question. Did you observe and can you record the the level of incidents or their offenses which led to them des incidents being observed and made a report and which was later on reported to the upper echelon? What types of offenses that led them to be being arrested, tortured, interrogated, and smashed as other people who were sent to S21, as they were the S21 staff. Can you explain it uh, further on this? The accused. Réponse. Mr. President, what I can recall is regarding Nun Hoi. Camrat Hoi was a member Roy of the S21 committee. A member of the committee of S21. The incident was uh, happened constantly, and I constantly reported to my upper echelon. Il posait constamment within problème, our agreement, with the agreement between I and Camrat Ho, avec and in the end, there or. was an incident that he allowed the radio operator to escape. Laisser l'opérateur radio s'enfuir. In general, a cadre who was responsible for one camera, and when that camera si un cadre had responsable an de, incident, de la he had to be cadre. punished. So I reported to Uncle Noon, and Noon ordered Donc, for his arrest. So I ordered Camera Ho to arrest. At that time, I also went arrêté. with Camera Ho because without me, Camera Ho would be suspicious. So I went along. So that was one incident that I can oui. recall. Je suis allé tout seul car sinon and let me talk about the reasons. I am very vague attendait. on it, but the most important reason for him was that he allowed his cas, radio operator to escape. Et principalement le fait qu'il avait laissé l'opérateur radio s'enfuir. President, the question is. Question. For the S21 staff, toujours pour le personnel de S21, which is now called the Tuslein Prison, and its a branch, the re-education camp the at Treso. And those et, staff, uh, when they Tresor. were arrested and sent to S21 Quand to be smashed, the personnel who was arrested and sent to S21 to be smashed, and to be smashed, And you were the one who made a report regarding Vous the instance of those staff under uh, your supervision at that office. Is that correct? Sous votre supervision, pas? The accused, Mr. President, Réponse. it is me who reported to the upper echelon, but it was not in writing. Mais je ne le pas it par was done verbally. Je le the President, and question. the question is for every staff of whom you made the reports to the upper echelon les du from these two locations vous avez that I just mentioned, that is S21, which is now called Tulsline Prison, and at the re-education office at Preso. Was there any of them spared? Que, it means the upper echelon did not make a decision to arrest them. Or for every person of your staff that you may have reported to the upper echelon and the upper echelon decided to smash them all? Supérieur, supérieur décidé de les the accused, Mr. President, Réponse. those people that Camrat Ho and I made an agreement and reported to the upper echelon. I cannot recall that there was anyone who survived or that the upper echelon 
décidé de ne pas que les choses d'ailleurs n'aient jamais décidé de ne pas les arrêter et n'aient jamais donné une suite euh, favorable à mon rapport. Favorable dans ce sens qu'on ne les ait pas arrêtés. Le président, vous avez répondu à question. Amongst the foreigners who were arrested and sent to SNA1, including the Westerners, et, uh, and there were four of them, les occidentaux, uh, vous nous dites que cela the fait four personnes. Westerners who were sent to SNA1, where were they arrested? Où ces quatre occidentaux ont-ils été arrêtés? The accused, Mr. President. Réponse. They were arrested by the by the Navy officers of the Division 164, and they were sent through Kampung Saum, through the Standing par, Committee, uh, to S21. And they were sent in two occasions each. There were two of them, and they were arrested by the Division 164 and sent to S21 through the General Staff or through the Standing Committee. Thank you. Le président, question. When people were arrested and sent to S21, what was the procedure that was implemented regularly? For example, when they were sent from the arresting place to S21, were both of their hands had to be handcuffed to the back? Or the both legs were shackled, blindfolded, for instance, until they were brought into S21. What was the procedure for the implementation of this arrest? Before they were divided and sent to each individual cell, the accused. Réponse. The procedure or the activity line that was called at the time, I was not sure. Je ne suis pas sûr de la procédure. The, operator, the operators was, were responsible before me. Il y avait des gens Their duty was not to allow them to escape, not to allow them to protest. And if there was any such incident, it has to be reported to me immediately, and, I, and they had to be responsible before the parties. In general, uh, they, they, it's possible that they might be, they might be handcuffed, shackled, and blindfolded. But for those who were arrested around Phnom Penh, they might be only handcuffed and blindfolded. However, there were some of them, for, in, for instance, when those people, one person from the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, when he called Wayne, when he came in, he saw me and he waved, and the person was not blindfolded. I don't know if there were many of these in instances or not. In general, it's en general, that was my responsibility, my responsibility not to allow them to protest or to escape. This is uh, my report to you, Mr. President. The president, the blindfolding, when the blindfold was taken off from the people who were arrested, the accused. Mr. President, I am not sure. Uh, probably it was after the photograph was taken or when they were sent to the cells. Or probably it was after the photograph being taken. Or maybe when they were sent to the room and shackles, and then the blindfold was taken off. This is just my uh, conclusion. President, 
What is the criteria for the people who were put in the general r room and who was mm. put in individual cells as can be seen at the photos displayed at the S21. We have a general room which was large and then there was each individual cell. So what is the criteria for people to be placed in the common room and for those who had to be put in the individual cell as can be seen from the photos? The accused, Mr. Isolé. President, uh, let me put three types of uh, responses to you. One is the most responsible, re the most important people that the party wanted the confessions from them. And it's, a co it's hard to regard their position. It was both their position and the times they were in they were serving the party. For example, Sousapan, he was a deputy commander of the division, but when he was arrested, he was the most important person. So he was not put in the common room that was used at a Bounier Yat High School. He was detained outside at a place called Special Prison. And for the interrogator, I assigned Camera Pon. Whom I trusted the most. So that's for the special types of prisoners. And the second important prisoner would be placed in individual cells, as can be seen on the three floors of those buildings. So that they would not communicate with each other, and only after they were interrogated, they were placed in the common room. And for others who were less important, then they would be placed in the common room. For example, those people whose names were mentioned in the document D159/4.10. They were not placed in the individual cells. So these, these were three types of prisoners when they, were, they, when they entered. The most important prisoners who were placed outside and the important prisoners who were placed in the individual cells and the less important prisoners who were placed in the common room. Le président, je vous remercie. We discussed this matter already at the early uh, date, but now it is about the individual cell. When were the cells uh, established and who initiated such the idea to have individual cells? The accused, the prisoners who were uh, put into the Bonnyayat High School was agreed uh, by my superior. And when we had uh, the Bonnyayat High School as the prisoner, I initiated and asked uh, Ho to create uh, individual cells without requesting to my superior for any advice. The President, President, thank you. Je the President, Le President, regarding the arrest uh, in which uh, the people were arrested, of course, by the implication by others. So could you please tell me about uh, it a little bit? The accused, the people who were arrested based on the implication in the confessions by the others, based on the surviving documents, I would like to 
brief it as follows. First, the most important person, for example, Suos No, alias Chuk, uh, the secretary of the uh, of. Uh, Sector 24, then the standing committee paid good attention until Brother agreed. And there had, had been a lot of uh, documents and meetings of the standing committee before such an arrest was made. But for other people, based on the surviving documents, there was a list. Uh, Sa uh, summarized by S21 to see uh, we, we compared uh, nine confessions and names implicated th uh, in that con those confessions before we can uh, 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 we c before the upper echelon could make the uh, further arrest and uh, as for the meeting that I attended with uh, 170 and Division 290, we presented the document and already summarized uh, the confessions. Then we asked uh, the secretary of the unit, Comrade Sok, do you think that these people, uh, uh, the, the evidence, uh, were enough to prove that this person should be arrested? And if the head of the unit uh, suggested that it was not yet time to arrest, then we would uh, then wait. And also, we, uh, for example, uh, after the secretary uh, reviewed the document, then, for example, the secretary of uh, that uh, office uh, made uh, such decision, then uh, we could make uh, the arrest. And I could also here uh, reveal the information based on the surviving documents only. The president, were you asked by the superior to uh, discuss how people would be arrested? The accused. Mr. President, my superior, Son Sen, was close to me and he followed my work deliberately and uh, he waited to hear my opinion regarding uh, the, the update of the event and for example when Koi Thun was sent uh, to S21 then I would then talk to my boss about how he would uh, be put, and then at what time Koi Thun would be sent uh, by Bank, for example, to S21. And we discussed this uh, with uh, the superior in order we could take a full control of S21. The president, when people were transferred uh, from S uh, from Batambang to S21. How many times uh, were they taken from that uh, location? And in each uh, time, how many trucks were used? And uh, how was the arrangement uh, made from that long distance location? Accused. Mr. President, the people who went out to receive prisoners were not many. I think uh, there were not more than 10 people. So they brought with them some shackles or handcuffs and a um, piece of cloth uh, to blindfold the prisoners. So the trucks uh, were the four multiplied by four uh, to the Chinese uh, trucks uh, covered with curtain, and uh, this this was the kind of truck to transport the prisoners. The president, uh, 
I understand that uh, the there would be more trucks to transport uh, those people, but how many times you remember the trucks took those people from Badambong? The accused, Mr. President, I cannot remember how many times the people were uploaded uh, on the trucks and sent to S21. But uh, I remember that the special forces of S21 operated in two directions on National Road Number 1 and National Road Number 5, but I could not remember how uh, many times uh, they would uh, discharge their duty on those uh, directions. The President, uh, I think you had uh, briefly mentioned about this point, but I think it is very important to ask further questions concerning the arrest of other people. For example, the member of the Standing Committee or the Central Party Committee. So who made uh, such decision and what uh, uh, how was the operation uh, conducted? You said already about the case of Khoi Thun and uh, Bang. We would not uh, want to hear more about this, but we want to know uh, if uh, important people like this uh, to be arrested, then it was part of the general policy. However, in the actual operation to arrest uh, such key people, in the case of one Wait, uh, who was also the key person in the party, how was the operation conducted? The accused. In the case of the arrest of one Wait, before the arrest, uh, I think uh, there were the follow-up of documents sent from S21 in a period of one year before such arrest. But I do not remember whether there was any full session at the standing committee before the arrest was made. I only knew that uh, Warren Wade was arrested at the standing uh, that the Central Party's office in the late afternoon, maybe at 6 p.m., Lin called me and said, Deutsch, be ready to receive three packages, three big packages. Of course, it included Brother Won, Kung Paul, the secretary of uh, the Northwest, and Brother Cheng On. Then, they were unloaded, and they, these people were not handcuffed, and they used uh, the string, a kind of uh, nylon string, to tie their hands behind their backs. Then when I... Uh, a uh, help uh, sit up one weight, I could see that uh, string. So it was the special case that uh, those people were arrested at Office 870. And later on, I could prove that uh, they were obviously arrested at the Office 870. I did not know anything about the decision to arrest them. And S21 was asked to arrange any documents, the implications, uh, uh, regarding those people, I remember that I did not sleep for three days and three nights collecting all those information concerning the people, uh, the key people. However, I did not uh, spend so much time collecting information before one Wade was arrested. S21 was not notified uh, before the person was arrested. We only knew that uh, he was arrested when we received the call that we had to be ready to receive those um, people. In general, all the secretary of the zone uh, would be sent to S21 and then S21 would be in notified 
immediately before they were to be sent. Next drop. So any unit that made uh, the decision, I do not have any idea, but I know that uh, the main body to make such decision is the full session of the standing committee. Pour prendre telle décision, il fallait euh, une réunion du comité euh, permanent, de l'ensemble des membres du comité permanent. The president, uh, when the prisoner of war and uh, Vietnamese civilians were sent from border point uh, to S21, were there any operation by S21 to take them by trucks uh, to S21 or was there the sole responsibility of the units concerned to take them and send to S21 the accused. So far, I cannot recall whether I appointed any cadre to receive people in Swai Rieng or Nek Luang, but maybe I I'm not sure. That's why I am rather reluctant to uh, say it clear because I don't know whether I sent uh, people there or whether I sent them in only 77 but not in 1978. I would like uh, to leave this matter to the chamber to seek clarification from Comrade Hui and with uh, supporting documents then I will be in the position to accept it. But I do not uh, recall of how uh, people would be arrested. I only uh, wanted them to make sure that the arrest would be made without any fight back from the prison, uh, potential prisoners or any abscons. Mr. President, I think it is time to take an adjournment so the chamber will take 20 minutes adjournment and resume afterward. Après la pause.